Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's Foraging Friday video, I am going to be focusing on these hanging toys. So all three of these foraging toys here have the exact same purpose and pretty much the exact same way of being used. It's pretty much just a plastic thing with some holes in it that you get a chain for and you hang it on top of the cage, as you can see here. These are all very cute little toys, and this one in particular actually came with some wooden blocks. Um, someone was nice enough to gift that to me, so I can't say I initially bought that one, however I bought the other two. And the nice thing about the wooden blocks in this one was that the rats could kind of just get them out of these holes. So with all that being said, I want to talk about some of the pros and cons of these. So first of all, for the pro, these are very simple toys. You're not going to have a problem with the rats figuring them out. I mean, they just have to get food out of it and it's right there in front of them. Not a lot of really puzzle solving. However, it does contain the food and it does mean that they can't just run away with it, which makes them kind of similar to the kebab toys. Uh, the other thing that's really nice about them is that you can see they have different shaped holes on some of them. And at least on this one here, they're all the same, but the other ones have different shaped holes. And not only does that make it a little bit more challenging, but depending on how large the holes are on the one you get, because there are many different types, as you can see here, you might be able to use different treats in them. Uh, for example, in this case, one of the things I used to hate about it was that the holes are so big. I was trying to put Cheerios in there, and it was just terrible because the rats would just push it once and the Cheerios would all come flooding out. And I could modify it by adding some crinkly bedding like I did in this case, However, with this one, the holes are on the bottom as well, so that made it really difficult for me to do that without the rats just being able to get all the Cheerios at once. So what I ended up doing was I ended up using this one here for fruit, and that's worked out really well. I just put something like apples in there, and I can sprinkle a few nuts or whatever I want, Cheerios and so forth. And as long as I put them on top of the apples, the rats still really have to work at it. Uh, you can see Coconut at the bottom, she is really working out an apple. They really have to bite at it, and it's just a really nice way for them to work a little bit more than with the kebab. So I kind of like this way of giving fruit a little bit more than that. Now the other two each have their own little thing. Uh, this one here has some smaller holes, and it has a completely solid bottom, which makes it more ideal for giving smaller treats like these little uh, nuts right here, and Cheerios and so forth. And you can always make it a bit harder by adding some of this crinkly stuff here, like I did. And in the back you can see the mouse one. This is probably my least favorite in terms of just treat dispensing design because, as you can see, on the bottom it has huge holes. I really don't like that because, whereas with this one you can change its purpose and do fruit instead because it actually opens. It's just connected magnetically, so it's super easy to open and clean. This one here, on the other hand, doesn't open at all. So that's really annoying because you have to get the treats in there and you only have the same way to get them out. This means that I don't really feel comfortable putting fruit in there and even if I did, the holes on the bottom are just positioned badly compared to the other ones. Now, I guess the nice thing about these is you can also disconnect them from the chain and put them on the cage floor. Uh, in the case of the ball, that's the easiest because as you can see, the piece inside is just connected like that and if you unclip it, here's the magnet parts, if you just unclip that, you can easily take out the chain, just clip the ball back together and then put it on the floor and they'll be throwing it around like one of those foraging balls I showed before. Um, with these two it's a little different. This one you can't just remove the chain so if you're going to put it down you have to do it with the chain and it's not really something that I would do just because I don't think that's its strength. But with this one here you can easily unclip the chain up top and then you can just put it on the ground and they can just have to move it around like a foraging ball. Uh, I actually think it would work better like that, but I haven't really used it like that. But yeah, that is pretty much what I do with these. I think these ones all go together really well, so that's why I decided to show them together. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and, uh, well, if your rats have one of these, which, like the foraging wheel, these are probably one of the more common things for rats to have. But yeah, if your rats have one of these, then uh, feel free to tell me about it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you later. Bye!